everyone, my name is Tutsal Zara and in today's video we're going to talk about two of the most famous Bulgarian tambura players. This video is the fifth dedicated to tambura, which is a part of a series of videos that me and my sister created as a part of a project which is funded by National Culture Fund Bulgaria. In the previous videos we talked about the history and construction of the instruments as well as the folklore region where the instruments are typical. You're going to see a few music videos as well, in which we're going to play some of our favorite music pieces composed by some of the greatest Bulgarian musicians. And finally, we want to say a special thank you to the National Culture Fund Bulgaria, because without their help we wouldn't have been able to make this project a reality. And now let's get to the video. I hope you enjoy it. Dubomir Vladimirov was born on the 3rd of September 1959 in Sofia. He is the son of the stranger folk singer Dimka Vladimirova. He grew up among folk singers and musicians who formed his taste for Bulgarian folklore. From an early age, he showed interest in folk music and, at the age of 10, he tried playing the tambura for the first time, thanks to the famous tambura player Rumen Sirakov, about whom I talked in the previous video. As a student, he started playing the tambura in the school of the Children's Palace. His teacher there was Rumen Sirakov. Dubomir's mother often took him to rehearsals at the Ensemble for Folk Songs and there the little Lubomir had the opportunity to talk with famous folk singers and to observe the orchestras closely. Lubomir himself admitted that Rumen Sirakov was the person who inspired him to study the tambour, which later became an integral part of his life. Lubomir graduated from high school in Kotel and his master's degree he got at the Academy of Music, Dance and Fine Arts in Plovdiv, majoring in folk singing and folk instruments. During this period, he appeared three times at the Young Musician Competition in Chirpan and each time he won first prize. In 1986, after winning a competition, he was accepted into the folk music orchestra of the Bulgarian National Radio and began working side by side with his teacher Roman Sirakov. Since then until today, he participated in many concerts and tours. He played in the group of Atanas Volchev, Nikola Atanasov and Dimko Gurgiev. He also traveled with the mystery of the Bulgarian voices. Lubomir Vladimirov took part in other formations with which he traveled around the world. In his work as a musician, he created musical pieces for tambura, the most famous among which are Izvorsko Horo, Zednenska Rachinitsa, Sirakovo Horo, Bratova Kopanitsa and others. The second tambura player about whom we're going to talk is Angel Dimitrov. He was born in 1967 in Haskolo. He has been involved in music since he was six years old. When he was in fifth grade, he started learning how to play the tambura at the children's music school in Haskovo. A few years later, in 1981, he was admitted to the music school in Shirokaloka. During his training in Haskovo, Angel got interested in the sound of the guitar and his inspiration was Richie Blackmore. So, he began studying some of Deep Purple's songs on his own. Thus, the guitar and the tambura became two closely related instruments in Angel Dimitrov's musical career. Today we're going to talk mainly about his folklore achievements. However, it is important to note the influence that the rock music had on his work because that played a big role in creating his style, which is what makes it different. He played in the representative orchestra of the academy. After graduating, he returned to his hometown. In 1999, he settled in Sofia and there he met many famous musicians. One of them was the Kaval player Teodosi Spasov. In 2006, he started working at the Bulgarian National Radio in the Folk Music Orchestra. He recorded a number of original music pieces, such as Varna Dance, Shopsko Horo and others. He wrote music for the documentary Bad Sando, a movie about the famous Bulgarian Alexander Tomov, who was a five-time world and European wrestling champion. Over the years, he has traveled the world with various formations. He played in Japan with the Japanese band Kodo, the Kaval player Nidjalko Nidjalko, the Gudulka player Georgi Petrov and the women's choir Angel Voices. In 2011, he was invited to the festival Balkan Traffic in a project involving the Bulgarian accordion player Petar Ralchev and other famous foreign musicians. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us by liking, commenting and sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our new videos. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. The links will be in the description box. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below or simply message us on any of our other social medias. We'll be more than happy to answer you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.